Donald Trump's claims he was wiretapped by Barack Obama will be heard before Congress. Donald Trump has slammed claims his campaign colluded with Russia in a series of tweets, hours before FBI Director James Comey appears before a House panel investigating Moscow's influence in the election. Mr. Trump said Democrats pushed the Russian story to cover up for their poorly run presidential campaign. Mr. Trump then tweeted that the focus should be on finding the individuals who are leaking classified information. Mr. Comey and Mike Rogers of the National Security Agency will speak publicly for the first time early on Tuesday, Australian time, about two issues that have riveted the American public for weeks and further divided the country's two ever at odds political parties. The stakes for the tycoon turned world leader could hardly be higher. Republican member of the House Intelligence Committee, former CIA officer William Hurt, told ABC News anchor George Stephanopoulos that Mr. Trump should apologize for the allegations. It never hurts to say you're sorry, he said. Mr. Trump and his entourage's possible ties with the Russia of President Vladimir Putin have been the subject of much speculation since before he was elected on November 8. U.S. intelligence agencies in January took the extraordinary step of stating publicly they had concluded that hackers working for Russia broke into the email accounts of senior Democrats and released embarrassing ones with the aim of helping Mr. Trump defeat Hillary Clinton. Even since then, the question of whether Mr. Trump and company were, or are somehow in cahoots with Russia has dominated the national conversation in the U.S. A congressional panel so far has found no evidence that Mr. Trump's campaign colluded with Russia, its chairman said on Sunday. Moscow has denied involvement in the hacks, and Mr. Trump has denounced the tumult over alleged Russia connections as a total witch hunt. Monday's hearing is also expected to address a second explosive issue. Mr. Trump's unsubstantiated accusations that former President Barack Obama had wiretapped his phone at Trump Tower in during the campaign. Mr. Trump on March 4 tweeted that Mr. Obama had tapped his phone, a charge that has consumed political debate in the U.S. Capitol. The issue of wiretapping first surfaced last month, when Mr. Trump's national security adviser Michael Flynn was forced to resign after it was revealed he had misled top officials over his contacts with the Russian ambassador to Washington to discuss sanctions Obama had just announced against Russia over the election hacking. Around the same time, the New York Times reported that U.S. intelligence had intercepted calls showing that members of Mr. Trump's campaign had repeated contacts with top Russian intelligence officials in the year preceding the election. Adding to the intrigue, Mr. Trump's lawyer General Jeff Sessions recused himself from any Russia-related inquiries after it was learned that he had met twice with the Russian ambassador in the months before Mr. Trump took office and had failed to disclose this during his confirmation hearing when asked a question about such contacts and speaking under oath. oath.